Hey, I'm Ryan Foreman, and I'm playing Miles Morales in the next Marvel film. Or so I hope. No, I'm not actually playing Miles Morales. Yet. But I've decided to create this weekly vlog series as sort of an audition tape that nobody asked for. A kind of search for L Woods for all you musical theater fans out there. But I'll be hopefully wearing a different suit to fight crime. Now I've devised a six month training program to turn myself into Miles Morales' Spider-Man. I'll be uploading weekly to talk about stories from that week, show my progress, and just talk about Miles and Spider-Man, especially since the new movie's coming out in June. Now, Spider-Man has like always been my favorite superhero. I remember when I was like five or six watching the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man on VHS in my living room. And then afterwards, just like running around, jumping off couches and stuff, like pretending I was fighting Green Goblin. Then in 2018, when Into the F Spider-Verse came out, a lot of us were introduced to Miles and the idea of the multiverse. And so now, more than ever, it's like, I could actually be Spider-Man. Now, there have been a lot of known actors that fans have speculated, slash they said they would love to see play Miles, and I'm just here to throw my name in the hat. And like the thing that we love about Miles is that he was just a nothing, a nobody, a nerdy kid who just happened to get bit. And so me, an actor from Chicago in LA with dreams of being a superhero, it's like, I, I think they say it in like Into the Spider-Verse, they say like, anyone can wear the mask. You know, Miles really started off as someone who didn't want powers. You know, he thought he thought he was a mutant. And so he often, you know, was shying away from his responsibilities. He didn't want them. He didn't think he could live up to the expectation. And so he often didn't believe in himself. And so that's something that I struggle with. And I think a lot of people do too. And so ultimately, this is just more of a way that I'm telling and showing myself that I can do it. That I can suit up and be the best version of myself. Now, why is this getting closer and closer to me, you ask? I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Now, on to how I will actually become Miles Morales' is Spider-Man. Are the eyes in the right place? I think so. Are the eyes in the right place? This will be my daily training schedule. One, workout and diet. If you want to be a superhero, you have to train like one. Here is my initial two-day split workout, working out every other day to start. Rest is very important. I will be building on that, adding more weight training going forward, but now a lot of calisthenics and mobility work. Got to be able to climb through vents and be stealthy and stuff. So here we are doing some weighted pull-ups and some regular pull-ups. Got to get that back nice and strong, I guess. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Stretch it out. Yeah, I've skipped uh, one too many leg days. Um, my legs, specifically my hip mobility is really bad. So working on a lot of stuff. We're gonna try and see how long I can really hold a bridge. You can see how like not arced it is and more of like a table. Um, so each week we're definitely gonna be seeing how long I can hold a bridge for. Two, 15 to 30 minutes of Spanish Duolingo to keep my Spanish up to date from not practicing it for years. Soy muy guapa. Guapo? Muy guapo. Las jefas están ocupadas en la oficina. Boom. One day done. Three. 30 minutes of break dancing. Because when I'm swinging from building to building or celebrating after being a bad guy, I need to show off the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. But seriously, learning breakdancing moves like the flare and handstands to increase my body awareness and flexibility. And it would be pretty cool to be able to do a lot of my own stunts. Yeah, so these are some 
poor attempts, you know, but we're starting. We're starting. We're learning. Yeah. Oh, ooh, okay. Leg, leg. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. jump. Okay. Yeah. Oh, slow. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Real good. Solid. And yeah, look back at the camera. We're trying to do the back spin right now. So that's like, you're here. The slow motion movement is you kick around. You put your elbow down, kick around, and then at some point, your left kind of trails it. I think it's probably just more momentum thing. Four, 30 minutes of stretching and or yoga. Obvious reasons, gotta keep flexibility. Spider-Man is so agile and so being able to, you know, flip and stretch and all that stuff is really important. Five, an hour of research, reading Spidey comics, watching Marvel movies, shows, Miles fan lore, etc. You gotta know someone to be someone. You need to learn not to get killed out there. You need to study this. You need to make Peter Parker your Mr. Miyagi. You, you need to become Peter Parker, or only better. Because Peter Parker died in Spider-Man. You need to learn everything he knew and more. Six, as a way to rest, I'll be playing the Spider-Man video games to get some real practice, you know, kind of like the military does with Call of Duty and stuff. Seven, 30 minutes of juggling practice. Increasing hand-eye coordination as well as reflexes for my spidey sense. You never know when I'm going to have to be able to remake this trick. Wow, great reflexes. Eight. I want to have an extra goal per week. Um, this week is going to be finding a parkour gym or gymnastic center where I can go, practice flips, turns, and stuff like that. Let me know what kind of extra training or goal I should have down in the comments. Helping someone move, cross the street, rescue a cat from a tree, I don't know, but, you know, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man stuff. Nine. And finally, I have to end every day by meditating and listening to Sunflower by Post Malone. It's my anthem and one of the best songs ever made. And I need to keep my mental health strong too. So I gotta end every night with decompressing and reaffirming my commitment to myself. <sighs> now I hope you will all follow me on my journey to becoming Miles Morales' Spider-Man. <coughs> I'm kind of scared of looking like a fool and you know, making, looking ridiculous. But it's not about how many times you get knocked down, it's about how many times you get back up. So, you know, leave a comment, let me know if you have any tips or suggestions or anything for my journey. Um, and yeah, I hope you help me out because I'm trying to be the one and only Spider-Man. It didn't work. Go. <clears throat> Wow, my wrist flexibility is terrible. <laughs>